What's good, YouTube? It's your boy RJ back with another video for you guys. And hey, damn, I gotta fix my camera. Hey, we are here talking to you guys about the coaches. Now, we have just unlocked Diamond Steve Kerr after the whole Mike Brown scandal. We're trying to get Mike Brown and you can possibly get your, can your transactions canceled. We have finally was able to add to my collection to unlock Diamond Steve Kerr. Now, for those of you guys don't know already, you know, we here, we post the content when we can. Like I said, you push me, I push the content. I'm gonna always say that in the video so you guys can know that, hey man, I appreciate you guys just tuning in, dropping a like, dropping a sub if you're new. And also, like I said, commenting on a video. One view of each of you guys, just to make a comment, it could be something simple, it could be something, you know, feedback, it can be something in regards to what you wanna see in the next video. Let me know in the comment section below. But this video is gonna be pertaining to talking about coaches. Nothing too crazy, just we're gonna be talking about the coaches. Now, is it worth it? for you guys to lock in the coaches set to get diamond steve kerr well it de it depends on your play style i would i would definitely say that so when we look at all the coaches man at the end of the day it's all about your play style what are you looking for out of your players now this is the card right here that was just crazy going for a lot of god on mt speed defensive consistency and defensive rebound right now there are two amethyst there's three amethyst coaches one is the one with jason tatum that you get from pre-order the game the second one when you lock in the western conference set and the eastern conference set you get the head coach of mark and then you get the head coach from boston as well as in joe so between these two coaches here as you see joe gets you the mid-range at three defensive rebound with the offensive consistency as Mark gets you the three, the block, the steal, and the defensive consistency. So in a different situation, Joe is more offense, Mark is more defense, right? Is it worth it for you guys to go for Diamond Steve Kerr? And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, after locking in the set, if you got certain cars, you can make crazy MT, Eh, it's a hit or miss, man, because if you all offense and you can play defense, I love seeing a defensive consistency attribute in anything. You got a steal attribute, you got a block attribute, and a defensive consistency attribute. I love that attribute, man, with the plus three. Now, Steve Kerr gives you that plus four on the speed. You get five attribute boost. The plus four in the speed, the plus four in the ball handling, the plus four free throw, three point, and the mid range. So it's pretty much all offense. I don't see no defense in there, man. That plus four speed, though, is kind of nice. You know, if you play your own defense, hey, that plus four speed, you know, we're already at a 90 speed. So get them to a 94 speed, that man could be like, huh, run for his run. But like I said before, in my opinion, is it worth it to lock in the set for how much MT it would cost? Not really. But if you guys want to get Diamond Steve Kerr just to get those extra boosts, hey, why not? I'm going to stick with Mark and just to, I'm going to kind of see, you know, from both ends what Diamond Steve Kerr might do for me versus what Mark might do for me. Because like I said, you know, that steel attribute, that block attribute and the defense, the, the D, the D, the defense, the defense consistency attribute is what's going to lead us to victory this is just a short video just to go ahead and tell you guys in regards to is it worth it getting it because in the past 2ks we know cars like nick nurse being a coach that was like one of the cars uh i think it was a diamond coach at the time that they had dropped early that a lot of people was running it's always diamond steve kerr his his at his coaching attributes is always kind of similar to the same um throughout all the previous 2ks so at the end of the day let me know in the comment section below what you guys think in regards to the coaches. Who are you guys running out there as your coach as well? Um, we were running Jason Tatum. Now that we got these new coaches, it's going to be a different ball game. We're trying to figure out the system in regards to where do I want to go? Do I want to go more offense, which I'm cool with my offense, but do I want to just stick with my defense while I still have that three-point attribute boost focusing on certain things that I do within a game? Defense win championship, offense win games at the end of the day. Obviously, that's my mindset defense first offense second you know y'all may have a different mindset than i do but at the end of the day you have to make it what's best for you and you know my thing is this right 
you got Eric Spolstra. Now, even the Ruby coaches did definitely did have some good stuff too. They just had plus three. So plus D plus three help defense, agility, interior defense, and free throw attribute. Cool. Tom Thibodeau. Offense, strength is a big one. Strength is a big one as well. Hustle, stamina for him. Mike Malone, close pass, pass act, standing dunk, pass vision. I'm not really hype on that. Chris Finch, interior defense, perimeter defense, defensive consistency with an agility attribute. So I'm not going to lie, Chris Finch, if you are defensive mind focused, this would have been a good card right here. But if you're more offensive mind focused, then we're going to go ahead and say that between Tom Thibodeau to Eric Spolstra would have been your top tier. Like I said, Nick Nurse, pretty much the card tiers go lower and lower and how many attributes you do get from these cards as well. But if you stick to it, and just keep doing what you're doing at the end of the day man what coach do you feel like is best for you that's all that matters that's all that it entitles to you got to make it best you got to make it go into every game i always say it go into every game like it's your last like you're playing for a chip man because like i said defense win championships offense win games but this is your boy rj thank you for god thank you for you guys watching this video y'all keep pushing me and I will keep pushing the content. You did.